what is the biggest reason that we don't have servant volleyers today in the pro game and in today's game? And so I'll just use this point as a demonstration. Here's me about to serve. Daniel's about to return. It's going to be a failed servant volley attempt. And as I serve here, uh, Daniel goes for this cross score return that gets past me. And this is what's going to happen with servant volleyers today. If they remain, if we have pros that are servant volleyers, they're going to get past a lot because why? The return game is much better because of the racket technology and the string technology. The string and racket technology of today allows for more topspin, heavy topspin, and uh, more power, obviously. And the topspin itself can be executed by a flick of the wrist. So you don't really need to hammer a big time stroke to utilize a topspin. With today's string technology, you could uh, do this cross court return with the flick of your wrist. You could do a down the line return. Uh, you could do a return to the server's feet as they come up for a volley. So these returns are much better today versus the 1970s, 80s, and 90s. They're just much better today, and you could execute more things on the return game today. And here's another example of a failed servant volley attempt where uh, Daniel serves to me, and I'm backed up here. This was actually a first serve, and he served pretty hard. And, you know, if you know, even if there's a, a pro level serve going maybe deep here, you could back up all the way to the back fence, back up several feet, and you could still hammer uh, a big time stroke up the lines, very powerful. And that's what the strings and the newer technology, uh, the racket technology, that's what it allows you to do. You could hammer these returns back. And so the servant volleyer really is at a vulnerable spot here. Um, you know, yeah, you could come up and have a good servant volley here and there, but usually as a surprise tactic, not as a way of getting all your points, a way of holding your serve for the whole game. You just can't do it on every point. You have to pick your spots in today's game to do a serve and volley. And so obviously, uh, the return game is a big factor on why we don't have servant volleyers today uh, in the pro game. But what do I think is the biggest reason? And I think the biggest reason why we don't have servant volleyers today is because of the volley itself. The actual mechanics of the stroke of the volley has not evolved at all. The volley in itself is still the same as it was in the 1950s, 1960s. Maybe you could go even earlier than that. And so there has not been an evolution of the stroke itself. And furthermore, the, the pros today don't have great volleys. Who's the best volleyer today? It's probably Nadal. And that's, that's crazy to think about because Nadal is, such, is a baseliner. He's an intense baseliner. He's not a certain volleyer or, or a net player or anything like that. He's uh, just a very good or awesome awesome baseliner and so we have Nadal as the best volleyer and it's it's kind of crazy to think about and if you look at the, my volley here and I'm, I'm just here um, trying to volley on the ball machine it's the same technique as it was back in the 1960s and 70s however far back you go maybe you could go back to the 1800s if you like it's that high to low motion, right? High to low, continental grip. Um, everything about it is the same. And if you think about the ground strokes, uh, what has evolved in regards to the ground strokes? Well, there's the top spin, obviously. Uh, there's the reverse forehands of Nadal. There's uh, Roger Federer's a modern forehand. There's the next gen forehands. There's been a great evolution of the forehand and the backhand as well. There's that loop. Um, I, I could go on and on in regards to the evolution of the ground strokes and even the serve as well. There's been some evolution. The volleys have not evolved at all. It's just still a high to low motion. The mechanics are the same. That's how you perform the volley. That's how you have a good volley. But it's not enough. It's not enough anymore 
to have this type of volley in the pro game because why? It's a slice. It's basically a slice. And so when that ball travels to the court and it bounces, well, it's going to slow down a little bit, no matter how hard you hit it, right? So in order to have a good hard volley, you need that good weight transfer. And if it's a very high volley, say that ball goes a little bit higher, you need to lay a racket back and use maybe a little bit more wrist. But that's still not enough. That is still not enough to put away some of these volleys or even a regular volley. If you want a regular volley that penetrates to the court, that pro level, that very elite high level tennis player is able to run that down. And so I think that is the main reason why we don't have certain volleyers today because we first we don't have good volleyers. And, and the main thing is the volley technique has not evolved at all. It's still that high to low motion. And what will it look like though if it does evolve? And I have an idea. And that idea is a three quarter swing. So here's me. I'm about to hit this backhand here. Andrew is the one on the other end. And let's play this point out here. And there you go. That's a backhand winner. And what I call a three quarter swing. So let's take a look at that again. And what exactly is a three quarter swing? Well, basically it's a backhand where the follow through is cut short and the whole swing path is pretty much shortened. So uh, see right here, that follow through doesn't go over the shoulder. It just stays right there. And I hit that passing shot through and um, that's all you really need to do on a passing shot is really um, get that placement, but also you still need a little bit pace, right? You don't need a hard driving shot. You don't need to blast this ball too much, but it does need a little bit pace. And that's where the three quarter swing comes in. It adds that little pace and it adds that redirection. And just like in a volley itself, the follow through is cut short. It's a very short swing path, uh, but not completely short like a volley. So the evolution of the volley, if it ever happens, is that the volleyer has to incorporate a little bit more of these swinging volleys or three quarter swinging volleys. And I've actually seen that happen uh, on a tennis match where Sitsipas did that. He did a, a little three quarter swing on a volley. And also um, I'll post this link uh, to a player on Tennis Brothers where uh, this player performed a three quarter swinging volley. And basically it's a volley with a little bit more pace, a little bit of top spin, but it's still cut short. It's still a volley. You're still taking it in the air, but, uh, and it's, you know, it's still a little risky to do, uh, to do some swinging volleys right on top of the net. But I think if there's ever going to be an evolution of the volley, it comes with that three quarter swing. And if we'll ever see a servant volleyer again, that player will most likely have that three quarter swing on their volleys. So will we see a servant volleyer again? I think it's highly unlikely. I, we won't see the likes of a John McEnroe or a Boris Becker, Pete Sampras anytime soon. There is Maxim Cressy, who is a top 100 player and servant volleyer. Great server, has a great second serve, but there's nothing revolutionary about his game. And I don't see him winning a major championship. Um, so there are these rare cases, but I don't think there will be a servant volleyer again who will win a championship anytime soon unless there's someone who can develop a more revolutionary volley, someone who is very athletic with their net game. Think of a Stefan Edberg or Pete Sampras combined with a Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic. If you can just, just develop some sort of servant volleyer player with all those skills, then maybe, maybe uh, someone will rise again. Today's game, it's, it's about being great at the baseline. Do you have big forehands? Do you have a great backhand? Can you return well? I think that's today's game. We'll see what happens. Things change. Things change with the tennis. There's a lot of evolution. Who knows? The, the string technology, the, 
the racket technology may evolve as well. So we don't know what's going to happen. But at this point in time, the, the servant volleyer is a relic of the past. If you enjoyed this video, kindly do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.